important. Our connection uh, with our body is very, very important. Being monitoring our thoughts, being in tune with that, building inner chi, not worrying about the external chi, and connecting with beings that are like-minded. You will have everything. And right now, just just worry about you. Don't worry about anything else. Worry about yourself. We are fine. I believe that. I feel it. Like we're, everything's going according to how it's supposed to be. someone else and that's what we're trying to tell you guys you guys cannot do anything on major big courageous levels unless you have a, a someone you're doing it for because then what happens is the military calls this the buddy system they say that when you enter combat oftentimes the soldier will go above and beyond his call of duty because of his buddy the one that's next to him at the same time simultaneously that buddy is thinking the same thing that he will go really to the ends and save the lives and all that for the buddy next to him so what these two keep doing is sending they think basically one's depending on one and one's depending on the other one, the other one is not saying I'm the one that you all should depend on. He's saying I, I think those guys I can depend on. And then those guys say I think I can depend on this guy. And in that, you go way beyond. So that's what happened. I sat in the council. And they gave me an ability within my hands and within my mind to speak in levels that are way beyond what people are talking about right now they tell me if you can't find ground then use water because ground seeks water this means that if you're in a building somewhere you don't feel like you're grounded go get a foot tub and because if you notice with trees their their uh, roots go to water they go to find water it's an etheric thing first Thus, 
if you have a pan of water there and your feet are in it, then the connection of the grounds from the trees, because the trees are all grounded, of course, it comes into the water and your ground is established right there. They speak of things that basically like Ram himself, Aries, the first one to lead the way, the first pole star. Because there were the Aries mind state of mind challenges wickedness for others who cannot. See, there's a they've been amplifying only this negative side of these creatures that, that uh, the negative side of these essences that have been created because they are the bad gods. They are the men who have been corrupted. They have never seen the ineffable one. So thus they cannot behave as if they have. The highest levels of whoever these Illuminatis or whatever have never seen it. They've gone off on the tangent of never receiving it because of their own fear. So this is why the mission is we're actually awakening the gods. And the gods come from us. Because that is who we are as men. And when we wake up fully, this planet will be restored because this is the last thing that was said. Do you think if Father was here, all of this would be going on? Do you actually think that if God was here, would you see happening? Of course not. The God is not here because the bad gods have made sure, because they know who's who or what's what, they've made sure up until this point that the good gods never see what is really, really going on on ground zero. This is what, this is what they do. They give you cars, they put you in the city, they show you the news they want to show you, and now they desensitize people, so they basically have the good people, they've the good gods and goddesses, whatever, they've isolated from the real situation so they don't wake up. So that by the time that it, it gets to them, it's already too late. It's like Samson, the Philistines are upon you. It's, it's already too late when they try to wake up. So right now, this is where the major movement is happening is because we actually are going to move in right when they've been planning to keep people asleep. And that's why anything that happens, like the extraterrestrials coming to visit and all that stuff, it's only the bad gods doing this. There is only a symbiotic relationship that is within this planet that must be gained. Meaning that the do it for my friend system runs through the whole world. Because you have people coming out with, it's not do it for someone else so I can feel better. See, there's a difference in this. Like when you say, uh, like a lady was, I was telling a lady about this and she was like, oh my goodness, I want to do it for my son. But I saw in her eyes that she wanted to do it for her son to make her life better because she's been stressing out. You got the wrong person and you got the wrong way. You have to find whatever is here that you personally identify with, not the world. This is the only thing I, I told her. She said, well, you know, we all supposed to do that for the world. And I said, but you don't know the world. And every time you have a small chance to meet more of it, you have problems with it. And you have situations with it. So you don't know the world, so let's stop doing this book thing where everyone quotes something that sounds really good, but no one's ever doing it. Just because they say, oh, we're supposed to be helping the world, you don't know the world, so who are you? how do you even know what you're helping? Identify something that you know you care about. And then when you go into the highest stages of doing something that you know beyond that lies your answers. And so for some of the people, it's not, it's not a cracking through the ceiling of the universe. So for some of these people, it's actually going to talk to their father. So for some of these people, it's going to talk to their, uh, their uh, a person that they've fallen out with. Or for another person, it's, it's rectifying a situation that they've done. And what, when they get ready to do it, they just can't summon the courage to do it. So thus, they keep getting held back. But what you have to find is first someone who you really care about that you know you cannot help unless you receive your release. 
And once you once you identify that, then when you're headed towards your release, like when I was about to step off that ladder into the water with all that fear, I realized that if I don't conquer my fear of water, then I will always be stuck at my fear of water. So that's what made me jump in. So it's that kind of thing. You know 100% that you're going to go in because you can see where if you don't go in, you'll still remain at the same level. So now, this is where we're at. And there's tons more. Like, I've only revealed about 10%. 10% of what I saw. 